Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Solera replacement awning fabric here on our 2017 Forest River Work and Play Toy Hauler Travel Trailer. Typically whenever we have a neighbor coming in saying that they need a new awning fabric, it's because theirs is just so worn, maybe it's got some tears in it, or it's just so faded it doesn't really provide the same aesthetic that it once used to. With our neighbor today, his need was just because he was already going to replace his arm heads for his awning with new powered drive heads instead of the old manual crank ones so he just wanted to go ahead and update the look and switch from his old dark black awning up to a little bit brighter of a gray color. So the Solera replacement awning fabric is made of a heavy duty vinyl that's going to provide you with a long lifetime of use. Uh, as you can see ours today is a silver that fades into a white but it also comes with a large variety of other different colors as well as different sizes. The installation difficulty of your replacement fabric is going to depend mostly on the size of your roller. If you're replacing a larger roller, you're gonna have a harder time trying to get it off and then putting it back on. But other than that, you're really only removing a few screws and just sliding the fabric bead into the new roller and into your extrusion rail. So overall, it should be a very simple an easy installation. It just can change depending on the length of your roller and whether or not you have enough hands to kind of help you maneuver such a large awning roller. As far as installation goes, this is a very simple and easy process. You're just going to have to remove your roller tube from your drive in your idler head and then remove your awning fabric from your extrusion rail. Now this can be a little bit challenging depending on the length of your roller tube, so you may want to have a couple extra hands, maybe two or three other people, just because with ours today it was a very, very long awning, so it can be kind of hard to juggle that while trying to get everything exactly where you need it in place. We're going to have to first remove our roller and then our heads, and to do that I'm just going to put our awning out about six inches just to start, just so I have a little bit more room to work with as we're trying to take these off. To remove the roller from our heads, we're going to have to remove our pin right here. Typically you'll see a cotter pin in here that's just bent around. Uh, our neighbor apparently has already done some maintenance on theirs and they have a bolt in here. So we're going to take that off. I've already gone ahead and did the same thing on the other side. And I have somebody over there to help me out because this is just such a long awning, it's going to be hard to pull this off without dropping one side. So we'll go ahead and remove this bolt now. It's kind of rusted in place on here, so you have to beat on it just a bit. It's one thing you're gonna wanna do before actually pulling your roller off is secure your arms here. I'm just using some zip ties. I already got some over on the other side. And that's just going to prevent this from falling down on you once all the tension's removed from the roller. So with an extra set of hands, we're going to go ahead and pop our roller off of our head right now. Just pull that to the side. You can pull it off. And we can start sliding it. You got it? You can push it. Start sliding it down. Yep. I got it. And we are gonna unroll our roller, get all the fabric laid out so that we can get to a point where we can pull it out of the tab that the awning slides into on our roller. So we'll just push this along. So our fabric's actually held in place by two different pieces. We have one strip right here and then one strip right here. We're going to need to remove our screw so that we can pull this down out through our cap. We're going to want to hang on to that because we're going to put this right back in place. After taking out that screw and our track, we're going to go ahead and just take our cap off as well.
and then we can just pop it right off. So if you have that extra set of hands, it'd be real nice to just have them down at the other end. That way they can hold it up so you're not scraping your roller as you're trying to pull the fabric off. Uh, right now, I just have some two by fours laying under it. So we'll just do that and we'll just pull our fabric straight out. So I have our fabric laid out face down so that we can roll it up into our roller here. I'm gonna take our little rod right here and we're gonna place it into our track. And I got an extra set of hands with me because we're gonna have to slowly guide this through. I don't want it angled and then having the edge of the roller end up scratching the fabric. So, Definitely super helpful if you got an extra set of hands. All right, now that we got our awning all the way through, we're gonna make it even on both sides. A uh, pretty good indicator is just from our old awning where that was sitting and kinda, you can see the kind of wear marks. So I'll slide the edge of our awning down to that and then double check with the other side and make any necessary adjustments. So now we're going to go ahead and put our caps back on. Alright, so you can see the little rod that runs through our fabric is sitting right here. And that's where our original hole was and our track. I'm going to go ahead and shoot that self-tapper right back in that spot to hold our fabric in place and keep it from sliding back and forth. And now we can go ahead and put our roller back up on our awning arms. As we're rolling this up, we wanna make sure that we're keeping our edges tight. We don't want this rolling up crooked on here. We'll leave about a foot of space. That way we can easily get this up onto the extrusion rail. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our fabric bead right through our extrusion rail. If you don't already have the ends of it kind of pulled down, you can just take some needle nose pliers. That kind of helps get you started when you're going through here and prevents you from really tearing up your fabric as you're pushing it through. But let's go ahead and start working our way through. Definitely wanna be careful, especially when you get to the top of the awning arms. These are kind of sharp. You don't wanna have your fabric resting on that and ended up getting scratched. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slide our awning all the way down and get it onto our head of our pin here. And actually, because we tested this out, I am gonna to need to adjust our uh, pin here because it's just a little bit off. All right, now we can go ahead and pop our head into place. And we're gonna take a cotter pin and just push that through to make sure that we're connected. And we will pinch those down for the time being. I'm gonna go ahead and also take some pliers and pull them all the way back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run the awning in and out a few times, kind of get rid of the wrinkles that you're seeing here and then also kind of build up the tension. As this goes, it's gonna kind of slide back and forth in the extrusion rail and that's gonna help kind of get it settled where it needs to be. All right, so like I said, we're gonna come back up here and just take our pliers and push our cotter pin back down. Earlier, this was the part where we were taking out a bolt, but luckily we had a few extra cotter pins laying around. So like go ahead and help our neighbor out. Get them exactly what should be in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our screws and put them through our extrusion rail to keep our awning from sliding back and forth.
All right, so right here you can see the previous hole for our extrusion rail screw. I'm gonna go ahead and just use that again. But just like any other time, or if it was a new install, you wanna kinda just tap into it. You don't wanna just go flying and take a chance at hopping out of that and digging into your fabric. So now with that in place, our awning's not gonna slide back and forth. I'm gonna go ahead and put our screw in on the other side as well. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Solera replacement awning fabric here on our 2017 Forest River Work and Play Toy Hauler Travel Trailer. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.